I'm sure you also heard the news that the Nigerian national football team were stranded in Libya in a situation that looks like they were head hostage. It is no longer a news though, but many people don't know what really happened and how we got here. Let me explain to you why the Libyan government did this. So last week, the Libyan football team arrived in Nigeria ahead of the 2025 African Cup of Nations qualifier. But instead of them to land in Uyo, which is the venue for the match, their plane was diverted to Portacot. When they landed in Portacot airport, they were a bit stranded. Despite that, the NFF still rallied around to make sure they were moved to Uyo, although by road. But the Libyan players complained that the NFF did that on purpose so that they can be tired for the match and that the bus NFF provided to carry them to Uyo don't even have AC. But NFF came out to say that what happened was not their fault, that they were only informed of the arrival date and time on short notice, causing logistical issues. And despite all that, the Libyan players were treated well, as you can see. After NFF explained what really happened, the Libyans kept quiet, not knowing that they have something in mind. The match was played anyway, which Nigeria went on to win. And now, it was the turn for Nigeria to go to Libya for the return match. And guess what? On their way to Libya, the Libyan government diverted their plane to an abandoned airport somewhere very far from where they were supposed to land. That is not all. They were not allowed to leave the airport for over 13 hours. No food, no water, no access to internet. They were just stranded. It was just like an hostage situation. In fact, some of the Libyan workers that were around were even laughing for you to know that they were doing this on purpose. But after many hours of people calling the Libyan government, they decided to send this bus to come move the players to the venue, which is about 200 kilometers. You see, this is the bus Nigeria provided for their players. And this is the bus provided for our own players. Funny, right? But the Nigerian players refused and decided to withdraw from the match. Yes, they said they are not playing again, that they want to go home. To cut the long story short, after back and forth, I heard that they are now back to Nigeria. So we thank God for their safety. The Confederation of African Football, CAF, have already taken up the matter and investigation is currently on. I hope that Libya is sanctioned so that other African countries can learn from this. One thing about Nigeria is that we don't maltreat visiting nations on purpose. We have hosted bigger teams before. But anyways, if you are in Libya, you better brief them about Nigerians. Them know they forget things. So.